Download now. What is going on guys? It's your boy Cash and we are here with better lighting. <laughs> I wanted to do a separate summon video because we got some I think 2,000 is how much you need to do with uh, actual ten pole, right? Wait, I still missing off one I can get that from somewhere else. I, I'm pretty sure so I have about three that I can do so it's gonna be like 30 I'm gonna see if I can get it It's cool that they let you know that in a few you're gonna be actually like you get a guaranteed one But I'm pretty sure that you can still get one regardless of that I just love the summon animation and then whatever character comes out on the screen, especially if they're uh, orangey or, uh, well, there's purple and there's orange. We'll just do a quick review for them because I haven't gotten too far in the game. I don't know all the gear sets. I don't know all the, the units, um, which by the way, I was so happy to find this. Atlas, Esper Gallery. You can actually see all the, the, the characters in the game. So I was so happy about this because I was like, this, that'd be a travesty that you can't look at all the characters in the game. Uh, you can't like look at like all their strategies and stuff. Yeah, you can't view too too much. Oh no, you can. Okay, here we go. We can still you can still look at this. You can still look at the reviews, but it's cool to see like all the characters. I wish you could just oh you could just spin them. I didn't even know that. Wait, it's like unlocking as I go down. Oh, like, like the record. That's kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. I can't find that character though. But he literally ate me. No, is it him? Him. He literally ate me. This, this, <laughs> I was playing in the story mode and he ate me. I want this character because that's actually a really cool skill that pretty much you, I think it's like a unblockable stun. Yeah, like I think like it says, if the target has more than 50% health, so you just eat it, they just, you just eat it. And then uh, the target is released if there's, if the, if he dies or if um, there's no other allies alive. So he has to come out, the guy has to come out of his stomach to do that. But it's a four turn cooldown. And that character is literally like prevents the target from being actions or being attacked, but he's like eliminated for two rounds. And if this guy is as slow as I'm pretty much assuming that he is, and all you have to do is buff him, he has his own heal here. I think it says. I think that that just be. I don't know. I just think that that's a pretty good uh, character, and that's not something that I've seen in any gacha game where I've seen it in Runeterra, Legend of Runeterra. Like, but I've never seen it in a game where you can like capture a unit. What if you make him really fast? What if he's, uh, he, I'm assuming he's slow, but what if you make him really fast and then you eliminate their damage dealer? You eliminate their buffer or their reviver or whatever like that. I just think that that would be insane. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'm not even hoping for five stars. <laughs> not hoping for five stars, not hoping for four stars. I'm hoping for this, this chef guy. That's what I'm hoping for. All right, so let's get it going. I'm gonna drop the beat. Uh. Only purple. So I, I'm assuming that this has to be yellowish for any of them to be yellow. Now I don't know how many purples they're gonna be. We got one, two, three, four, five. That one looked yellow, actually, funny enough. Do they have fake outs? Your own mind is your most complicated and valuable project. I love it. Pritzker. We got like four. New choice. Death Guard High. Your own mind is your most complicated and valuable project. He said Shadow Clone Jutsu. <laughs> Don't know what he does. Hey, I got Freddy now. Another one. Oh, I gotta use you. What an intro. I just like the footstep. Blossom. Oh, but you're like dead at the same time. Chang Pu. Berenice. Another one. Yo, we got. What do you do? You're in bars. Not bars, but like. Oh my god. Why is he like. It's like he's holographic or something. We didn't get Eat, eat Guy, unfortunately. So we got 10,000 of this guy. So what does he do? Absorbs their AP. I think AP is like your movement bar, if I'm not mistaken, like that. So he has a, that on his skill one. Uh, 60% chance to go into seven. Going into, I like that they do this instead of it being like uh, epic seven and does like two percent, five percent. Like, just tell me what it adds up to at the end of the day. So, you can make it up to 80% to absorb 30% of their bar. Um, it makes me think of like maybe like counter or something like that. But what is this passive? When Mimir inflicts a debuff, if any target is immobilized, all that all of the target's ability cooldowns are increased by one turn. God, that's kind of messed up. <laughs> that's actually kind of sick. 
uh, if a target is immobile, but it seems like unless you maybe give him a gear set that does it, this doesn't this doesn't um, leave a debuff. So his only debuff is here. He only has a stun going up to 60%. Attacks all enemies three times. Each strike has a... Oh, well, that's actually kind of nuts. <laughs> oh, okay. So I see. So if he stuns you multiple times, which in this game, you can inflict the same thing multiple times. So if he inflicts that stun multiple times, then you can lose a cooldown... If any target is mobilized, and mobilize all the target, yeah, so that's actually pretty cool to use a stun bot. Stun bot that then reduces your cooldown so when you get your turn, but that's also, one well, of no, the stun's only for one turn. So you see you have Seer, increases damage, so we have a, a basic attack. Really important what your basic attack does, uh, really, really important in these games. Attacks the enemy twice, 40% chance, no, yeah, 40% chance to Seer if uh, another character is present. What? Oh, that's cool. So th there's like, that's yeah, that's not her. Then and strike deals extra damage. So there's a she has like a partner in crime. I like that. I've actually wished more games did that. That like depending on your, it makes more of a team composition. They kind of do stuff like that. Exos Hero kind of did that too, where they had it that you know when you use certain people from a certain uh, region or a certain uh, faction that they were best at, but not like it didn't need to be that grand. And then this is pretty cool too. I wonder how many synergy she has with that other person. I guess it's just the basic. Tax all enemies twice, each dealing 35% of the owns the Esper's own attack with a 30% chance to inflict speed down, which is pretty cool. The ultimate here is a grants crit rate up for two turns, then attacks. Oh, I love it. So it gives herself additional crits, then the attack goes through. Very smart for them to do that. Uh, hits them three times, each dealing damage equal to 65% of attack and inflicts defense down. That's really good because hitting three times, if the defense down triggers on the first time, then it's good. Also, another cool thing about here is that it doesn't say uh, a chance to inflict defense down. That means that as long as it goes through the check, defense down will happen. So she is a really strong DPS character. And then if you run this other fight, Zai, uh, she'll be doing even even more damage. She seems like a really good character, solid character. We got uh, Jingman. And I heard that the three stars are good. Uh, I just don't want to read all three of them. There's way more of them than there are the four stars. So I I'm not trying to jip them or anything like that. Big attack uh, attacks two random enemies and marks them with Nether Bloom. Enemies marked with Nether Bloom will suffer a Nether Bloom blast after taking five attacks. Oh, so this is synergy with all these characters that attack multiple times. Receiving damage equal to 85% of Meng Po's attack. This blast also deals damage of the same amount to two other random enemies. Oh my god. So that would be a character you definitely want. And it, and it also has a chance to silence them. That's insane. Look, it even messed up my camera. <laughs> It just messed up my camera. Uh, but what's also cool about that is that this is her basic attack. So she can literally, uh, again, it makes me think of maybe counter, like a counter set or something like that. And I'm assuming this skill, she has a passive as well. Inflicts poison on an enemy, inflicted with nether bloom for two turns. Has a 50% chance to counter attack when attacked by an enemy with, oh, so she already has. Now I know counter is in this game. I wonder if, if uh, it stacks on each other, maybe. But that's crazy. So she poisons and you get this and you can get damage. She actually would be a character because of that. I actually don't think maybe you even need to build her with damage. You might just be able to have her sit there. But maybe you're still supposed to. I'm not too sure. Launches a three-pronged attack on all enemies, each dealing damage, which is irrelevant. The, what you care about here is that uh, I think three-pronged means it's like it hits three times. But these two things right here are pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Last but not least, Kara, the one that was all locked up in herself. So she has a diseased, nice. Disease is a heal block, really important uh, debuff. And each attack poisons the target lasting two turns. Oh, she has auto poison. That's kind of nasty. <laughs> That's kind of nasty. Uh, and then let's, what we have here, uh, AOE, speed down and poison as well. So she is your poison character. And usually poisoning is really good on against bosses. So, and it says each attack. So this poisons on top of it also poisoning. And then this also poisoned and that puts disease. So she looks like, uh, and then look, increases the uh, accuracy in Ritual and Sonic Miracles because she's trying to poison them. So in 40% at that, so she actually might be a, the leader in those in those dungeons. So that's actually a pretty good thing for my account, I think so. Actually, just so I don't mess that up, let me go get a record real quick and I'll be right back. It's Wow, orange. Oh, come on. I mean, they gave me a bunch of purple. I'm still looking for the blue guy. I think that's two, two purple. That means more blue, which means more chances for my, my eat dude. Woo. 
Long me and that's a smooth. Yes. Oh, double. Hey. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, hey, mama. Oh, I like that guy. Where is he? I'm, I'm happy I got my eat, dude. See, you just gotta, you gotta manifest it. You guys don't think I forgot about that? Yes, I, I want to use him so bad. He might be absolutely trash, but I, I think that his concept is hilarious. This guy's annoying. Yeah, if a teammate with less than 50% HP is attacked, throws a shield that deals damage to the attacker equal to 20% of the attack plus 60%. So it's, it's, it's defense scaling. But I love it because he just keeps hitting. He just keeps hitting people over and over and over again. But I think you just build him still defensive because he's you just wanted to have it. So what usually happens is that he keeps hitting everyone and you're like, okay, let me kill this guy. And then he's supposed to be tanky. That's like his whole shtick, right? Let's check out Water Boy though. No, this wasn't Water Boy. No, yeah, no, he was like ice pretty much. Um, so he has uh, speed down on his basic attack. That's pretty good. Attacks twice as well. Like, I hope that there's more thing like the Nether Loom that 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 increases the damage like something that has to do with hitting so many times because a lot of people have multiple hitting skills uh this is a aoe skill to zap some target ap as well on its way out and then this one is some speed down plus a freeze makes sense i'm assuming he had one freeze uh aoe freeze though eight percent chance of getting speed down and then you can go to uh a hundred percent chance so it depending on how fast this guy is you can actually lead off with a slow and a freeze which would kind of be nuts. I'm not going to lie to you. That's actually a, a, a overloaded kit. He must be a top thing. Unless he's slow. Unless he's slow. And then, oh, he's a speed. <laughs> this guy might be a jerk. This guy might be a jerk here. Because he has he has a speed imprint or a speed like captain skill. You let him go first. Uh, give him a ton of accuracy. And then you lead off with freezing everybody. Unless they have like some type of uh, early immunity or something like that. Or I think that there's one character, the, the, there's like a death character that could actually prevent that from happening. So this is the water check. I loved her intro. So then they an extends crit rate up for one turn if a crit is extends with. I'm assuming that means she gets it somewhere else. And oh, we have a crit rate uh, leader as well. Attacks the enemy three times, uh, reducing their AP. Okay. And then this one, okay, so she, there it is. I'm like, where is the crit rate? So she has her on her basic that she can keep her crit rate up as long as she keeps critting, which is pretty cool. But she also has a skill, her her ultimate gives herself crit, gives, grants crit rate and attack. No, okay, just for herself. Okay, so she gains crit rate up, then attacks all everyone three times, dealing damage and uh, inflicting crit, uh, inflicting freeze if it crits. 40% chance though. Not like the other guy that was kind of guaranteed if you start leveling it up. Interesting. And you can have this lower on a cooldown. Interesting. I wonder if there's uh, crit based builds too, because there's sometimes there's characters that deal with crit that like if you crit around, you do some other stuff. I already know what she does. She's, she seems pretty underwhelming, not gonna lie. I like Hall because as long as you're attacking with single target stuff, he follows up with an attack. And then when you upgrade this, it actually poisons. He becomes like a really solid poison based character. There's like a really cool poison team that I, I'm, I'm starting to see that you can make. And I'm assuming that maybe that will be like your 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 uh, your team. And now we're going to blow everything. Boom. Probably better uses for that, but I don't care. Risk it for the biscuit. Will Smith? Ah, uh, why did I put it on Will Smith? I'm about to say, is that my first shaft? No, but I got four uh, purples there. Now again, I know that the blues are just. Hey, he's he's coming out full force. There goes Drew. I know that some of the blues. Her, I heard that she's really good. Oh, who is that? She looks pretty cool. That he just blows it up for some reason. Okay, another bard on. Okay, another bloom in the building. He said, "I'm not done." Hit me, baby. Oh, she's really not done. 
I wonder how many dupes you need in this game. I will say right now, it seems as though like the gathering of uh, I already have him. Uh, it, it's I don't know how much summon request he got. He needs a lot of work. I get to put a lot into him. We already know what he does, know what she does, so we don't know what he does. Um, defense down on basic attack. That's phenomenal. Oh, and he has he has a, his basic also scales off defense too, which is pretty good. Stacks one bull rage, increasing defense by 10% and resist by 5% per hit taken. Stacks up to 10. So you can get 100%. <laughs> 100% defense a uh, increase and then a 50% resist increase. That's actually nuts. But is there a reason to hit him? It said per hit taken, which is actually great because a lot of these skills are multi-hitting, right? So he can he can stack this up really bad. But there has to be something. I'm assuming maybe you do counter because you can defense break them and then hit them and then they'll take them. But what is the skill? This is this is the most important. But there it is, a taunt. There we go. He has a taunt as well. Uh, and 100% scaling off the defense, so he has defense scaling. Hit is that an AOE? No, I think it's a single target, and but the, it, there's no chance for it to happen, so he pretty much auto taunts that person. Damage is increased by 50% if Autumn has already gained 10 bull stacks. That's nice, so it does even more damage and it restores his health per bull stack. Uh, expends all bull rages. Okay, there we go. So that's how it works. So it does more damage if he's maxed out uh, on his bull rages. Uh, it takes all that, but it also heals him. So he actually, to me personally, he almost seems like a character that can solo in, in, a, in a weird sense. If you gave him a very, 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 very high amount of defense uh, and maybe some other mechanic, I, I don't know the gear sets, but I, I, I know the gear is you can put two defenses and I don't know what the what perfect left side. I don't know if you need him to counter per se, but as long as he, there's a way to uh, enable him to be able to safely use this, like I guess maybe resist or something like that, then he can maybe full heal himself every couple turns and then he won't take much damage because he scales off defense very interested to see him because he has a similar mechanic too he uh he, he doesn't heal he doesn't have a heal mechanic but he has a, a aoe taunt and then everything scales off his defense and then when you upgrade that he gains it he counters automatically i think people run him on lifesteal and that is all the summons that i can do hopefully you guys enjoyed the video that was absolutely a pleasure i love this the whole everything that this game has done so far has just been phenomenal and they still giving out stuff but my that's my only concern i think pretty much is that as i go through this and i go through this is that how much uh of the resource of the summoning resources do we honestly have uh and do we get on a regular basis that that is where the the quote-unquote concern comes from because right now they don't have a banner at the moment so there's no like character to go for uh, we don't know how that's gonna work. Oh, maybe some people do because I know this is a uh, different This game already came out at one point very interested to see with how this far this game takes it But so far have it a blast and oh, yeah, I, I, I need friends have none zero at the 50 I need your friend code if you made it this far in the video, please. Uh, what is it? My thing is just catch right. I think if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's it Hit me up or whatever you need. Uh, if you need the UI ID, I don't know. But yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.